Hi, my name is Haley Nunez, and today I will be discussing my favorite collection that I created uh, during my time as an undergraduate student at Jefferson University. This collection was inspired by the American filmmaker Wes Anderson. His style is characterized by his eccentric and eclectic nature. You can identify his work easily by his color blocking, attention to detail, and eccentric nature. For this collection, I was inspired by the movie Moonrise Kingdom, which follows the story of Sam and Susie, who are 12 year olds that end up falling in love and running away together, which prompted um, uh, Island to begin searching for them. My mood board was both an inspiration from Moonrise Kingdom along with other films that the director has created, Wes Anderson. As you can see on the bottom left, you have images from Grand Budapest Hotel, which I was, um, I included, I thought it was a good thing to include because it, it captured his style and aesthetic for the consumer viewer. In particular, this mood board features a lot of color blocking, pastels, um, nature, and just overall aesthetic that is known, is characterized with Wes Anderson. Here we have uh, one of the main characters, which is Susie, who ends up running away with Sam. Um, in this particular slide, I have here just what I use to help me inspire to create a collection. During the time that Susie runs away, she ends up hiking and waiting for Sam, takes a suitcase, binoculars, and a few things that a 12 year old would suspect that they would need. Um, here we have Sam Shashuski, who is a Boy Scout, and I pulled from the movie, a few images and scenes that stood out to me. Then I began to develop my concept. Here is a slide of just how I started to develop a color palette. I look at just a lot of reference images of the Moonrise Kingdom movie and just began to pull color swatches that I thought would aesthetically fit together with gouache. Here is a slide of when I began to develop motifs that weren't always successful, but helped me to explore and develop my concept a little further. As you can see, I have a moth here. So with this in mind, it was important to me that I develop a concept that fit in with the theme of camping and escape. And a few of the items that the two main characters took with them while escaping to the secluded island. As you can see, I have a lantern and a backpack. And this is how I started to develop my um, motifs for my collection. I started to develop um, motifs, almost like clip art, because I wanted to arrange them in a way that would make it easier to create half drops, abstracts, and other very um, almost like a comic book type collection. This is an image of how I basically developed some of the nature motifs. As you can see, I have a leaf here with some um, renderings, etc. I didn't settle on the last pick, but it was important to me that I also capture the mood and the aesthetic of Moonrise Kingdom, which is mid-century modern. So I began to delve deeper more into the post, the 50s poster style aesthetic that I felt really tied into this collection. So as you can see, I started to stylize florals with color blocking and layering and letting each layer dry before I applied a different color. Here I have a suitcase, which I rendered along with some uh, loose florals. 
So these are a, this is a collection of all of the motifs that I used and developed for my final collection. Here you have a collection of about 20 or so motifs that I use and arrange into different repeats. So this was my first floral, which is kind of a maximalist print all over that I really enjoyed making and I felt was very vibrant and just, I enjoyed making. Here I have an abstract butterfly, which I then mapped later into a swimsuit. So I started to think about my end use for this project and I settled on a beach theme, which I will touch um, shortly. As you can see here, this is an arrangement of a few of the items that both of the characters either had, took with them or en encountered nature scenes while on their journey. So I ended up taking my geometric swatch and created a pattern from it. This is binoculars that I ended up converting into an engineered print. So on my end use, I settled on uh, swimwear and beachwear. And this is one of the mappings for my floral print. The engineered print I ended up using on a beach towel. And lastly, I wanted to include some uh, swim shorts, swim trunks for folks who feel more comfortable in this kind of um, aesthetic. As you can see, I compiled all of my clip arts and created a repeat. And that's the back. I took my color swatches and mapped it out into another swimsuit, which I really enjoyed. And it's kind of an interesting take on uh, geometric and stripes. This is just a, a snapshot of all of the prints I kind of made for this collection. And that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you.